Hey everybody, we are about to start up my pool after draining, acid washing it, and now applying this product called Microglass, which is pretty cool. And we're gonna do the Arenda startup on it because of course we're gonna do the Arenda startup on it. I've got my acid here. I've got SC1000 CV700 enzymes, which is fine on my pool because I have a sand filter. You should usually use CV600 enzymes, but that's okay. Notice we have a plastic tarp down. We never want to put things on a concrete or masonry finish, travertine, anything like that. So we've got our plastic down just in case something happens. You want to be able to protect the customer's backyard. I've already tested the tap water chemistry and I know that I have 30 total alkalinity, 40 calcium hardness and an 8.2 pH. So I ran the calculations in the calculator with the best volume that I know for this pool which is my estimate of 24,000 gallons. However, we're gonna use a water meter when we fill this tonight so that we're gonna know exactly what the pool volume is. And we're gonna write that value down because that's precision that we want when we maintain pools. The more accurate that we can know our water volume, the more accurate our pool chemistry is going to be for the rest of the life of this pool. And that's very important. But for now, we don't know the exact volume of the pool. We're gonna start up based on the best guess that we can, and that's gonna be 24,000 gallons. I'm gonna round up on SC1000. I'm gonna do two and a half quarts of SC1000. When we use this product, it has a higher pH, and we're gonna to need to put in 12 ounces of muriatic acid, which I have my measuring cup right here. I need 12 ounces of muriatic acid for every quart. Since I'm using two and a half, 12 plus 12 is 24 and a half, it's gonna be 30 ounces. One quart of muriatic acid is what I'm gonna need in this barrel even though I'm not putting all of this in the pool. On top of that, I need a little bit more acid. In fact, I need 18 more ounces based on the volume of the pool to reduce the pH. And, and I'm doing that because I have a low alkalinity now, I don't need a lot of acid to do this. It'll all fit in the barrel, all of it. Then I'm gonna be putting in 100 pounds of calcium and we have buckets right here. These are 15 pound buckets and we're gonna enter it into the startup barrel just like that. Now we're gonna measure our acid and we're gonna do this over the plastic. You don't wanna breathe this, but I know that I need 12 ounces per quart and I need 32 total ounces. And this measuring cup actually goes up to 32 total ounces. So this is the perfect size measuring cup for what I need to do on this startup. Now, if I had a bigger pool, I would just do multiple measures of it. But one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna wing it. I'm not going to round up on acid. I'm, if anything, I'm gonna round down on acid because we do not want to make this startup water aggressive. Hold your breath. Now we're gonna add this acid in through the measuring cup. So now that I've got my 100 pounds of calcium and I've got all the acid and the SC1000 in here, all we need to do is stir and get it to dissolve. And then we're not ready to fill the pool until it's clear. We need to be able to see the bottom of the barrel. This is a common mistake. People just turn on the water. You gotta get it clear enough to see the bottom. So, and if we look down at this, I'm gonna take this stirring rod and pop it out. Remember, we did not glue it. And I'm gonna use that to stir and get this calcium to dissolve. Make sure you're wearing gloves. This gets really, really hot. When you dissolve calcium chloride, it gives off an exothermic reaction, which means it gives off a lot of heat. It gets really hot. And in a cold climate, if you're doing a startup in a cold time of year, you actually wanna put more SC1000 in the barrel because it gets hot and heat activates SC1000. If you just put it in cold water, it's not going to do much. But if you put it in here, it's gonna activate very quickly and start chelating this calcium. The whole point of using this product is to chelate the calcium that we're adding so that it is not going to form scale or come out of solution. We can add a lot of calcium in a short amount of time with SC1000. Now, when this pool is full and we get it circulating, we will add CV700 to it, especially on a new plaster startup. I know this is a renovation, but on a new plaster, there's a lot of oils and there's stuff that comes out of the plumbing of the main drain. You gotta get those out and that's what 
enzymes are great for. Normally we would recommend CV600, but because I have a sand filter, I can use this as well. It's the same enzyme, but this has a phosphate remover in it. So that being said, all we need to do is get the water hooked up to the hoses and you can follow the normal Orenda startup procedure to see how that is done. And we will fill this pool up tonight. Thank you.